Hello lovers, in this video we're going right back to the beginning of GCSE chemistry and we're looking at the structure of an atom. To help you remember everything after you've watched this video and made some notes from it, over the website there's a completely free set of questions, set of flashcards, to help you go through all of the bits. Also on the website you'll find the links to the predictive papers and the walkthroughs that we've done for this year and last year as well. This video is going to cover the basics of atomic structure. All substances are made up of atoms. Atoms are defined as the smallest part of an element that can exist. However, atoms can be divided into subatomic particles. However, these are not considered to be the smallest part of an element because the subatomic particles do not retain the properties or features of an element. So here we're going to look at the structure of the atom. Atoms are made up of three subatomic particles. On the outer shells or outer energy levels are the electrons. Electrons are tiny, negatively charged particles. The next subatomic particle we need to look at are the protons. Protons are positively charged subatomic particles and these are found in the centre of the atom within the nucleus. The third and final subatomic particle to look at are the neutrons. Neutrons are neutral particles, this means they have no charge and they are also found in the nucleus alongside the protons. The central part of the atom where both the protons and neutrons are found is called the nucleus. The nucleus is also where the mass of the atom is concentrated. So in summary, the three subatomic particles found within an atom are the electrons, protons and neutrons. Electrons are found on the outer shells and the protons and neutrons are found in the centre of the atom in the nucleus. Comparing subatomic particles. When we compare subatomic particles, we need to consider three variables. The first is mass, the second is charge, and the third is location, where on the atom that particle is located. So completing this table then, protons have a mass of one, a charge of plus one, and are located within the nucleus, that central part of the atom. These can be compared with electrons, which have a mass of one over 2000. This is sometimes written as almost zero or negligible. They have a charge of negative one, and are found on the shells that surround the nucleus. And finally, we can compare these against neutrons. Now, neutrons have also a mass of one, a charge of zero, and are located also in the nucleus, the same as the protons. So when we compare these subatomic particles, we can see that both the protons and neutrons have a mass of one. They're also both found in the nucleus. Now, their mass is considerably more than the electrons, the electrons are sometimes described as having a mass of almost zero, or 1 over 2000. So we can see now why the nucleus is said to be the concentration of mass within an atom, because both the protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus and they have considerably more mass than the electrons on the outer shells. It's also important to recognise the differences between the charges. So protons are positively charged, each one has a charge of plus one. The electrons are negatively charged and each one has a charge of negative one. The neutrons carry no charge at all and therefore do not contribute to the charges within the atom. So finally, let's go over some key takeaways about atomic structure that we need to know ahead of any GCSE chemistry exam. Atoms have a neutral charge overall. This is because the positive protons and the negative electrons on the shells counteract each other. They balance out the charge, giving a neutral charge overall. Within an atom, protons and electrons are always equal. If there are five protons in the nucleus, there are five electrons on the outer shells. These numbers must always balance in an atom. Within the nucleus, there are two types of subatomic particles. There are protons and neutrons. Both have a mass of one, but they have different charges. Protons have plus one, neutrons have zero. Therefore, the nucleus is positive overall. The mass of an atom is concentrated within the nucleus. This is because protons and neutrons have a mass of one 
and electrons located on the outer shells only have a mass of one two thousandth. For atomic structure, you need to be able to label a diagram of an atom with both the protons, neutrons in the nucleus and the electrons on the outer shell. You then need to be able to compare the three subatomic particles based on their mass, their charge and where they're located within an atom. Ouch! This is why in some videos I write explain scratches.